Hi everybody, it's Megan Gill here and I am here today to paint flowers and more with you. So if you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and or my uh, website and my newsletter. Every month I send out a newsletter that you can see where I'm teaching and everything. Okay, so today I have been seeing a lot of people paint with dots and I wanted to see what that was actually like. And so you are going to watch me live actually paint with dots and see what kind of flowers we can make with just dots. So let's get started. Today I have my um, koi watercolors over here on my right. I have a thing of water. I do not have anything to wipe it on. That's great. And I have some little sheets. So when you are practicing something to actually go and get a tablet um, and actually do it, it takes too much energy and you feel like you're wasting stuff. So cut those pieces of paper in half so you can actually practice. And that's what we're going to do. So I've seen two things. One where they've done it all with one brush. I've seen it where they've done it with the round brush first and then they get a um what do you call this a flat brush slash angle brush and do it with that so we are going to do who knows what we're just going to see what happens so i'm going to get me some water and i'm going to get me some of my favorite colors here which is always that pinky red color i just love this and i think it's number two what is that i can't tell all right and here's what happens so that's this is what these people do we they have a pattern and they do one two three four and five and so they have some good amount so basically what i'm doing is i'm adding to these dots all right seeing if i can't just add more pop with them so now i have a whole bunch of this and i'm just going to come over here and waste stuff like that. So you're going to get to see two in one today. All right. So we've got that. Now I'm going to take a different color. So I'm taking a purple color here next. And you're supposed to do a smaller version of it in between them. Now you are witnessing this as good as I am because, well, it's fun to see when the teachers mess up, right? Okay, so I'm going to just come in here and I'm basically cleaning off my brush when I do this. Okay, so now I'm going to get my angle brush, get some water on it, and I'm going, <laughs> this is, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my angle brush and basically I need a lot more water. So let's get a little bit more water here. Oh, now that's better. All right, get some more water. I'm going to start here. And I'm building out the shape of these petals. Boy, can you tell that I just totally like stopped talking and everything. <laughs> okay, and we're going to do this one. This is pretty neat, I have to say. I love how light it looks. Isn't that pretty? But you got to have a lot of water on your brush. And I think that your dots right here need to almost be closer together. So I've done this. I think this is working pretty well. This is sort of what I wanted, okay? So I'm going to now take a little bit extra. And do you see I'm not painting, I'm dotting I'm just dotting where I want more color because watercolor only goes where the water goes. It should give me a really nice looking. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. A light version of these flowers. I like that. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little bit of that purple and get a little bit more. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to put it right here because a lot of times when you have a darker color or this it's always darker right here in the center so i'm going to just add a little bit of that now you'll see how i'm going that's this is a good thing about an angle brush 
I'm not painting much. I'm just dabbing, but I'm making these little bitty lines in here. Y'all see that? I'm going to bring it up close. Isn't that fun? Okay, so we're going to put this to the side and we're going to find another one. Now, let me come over here, see if I can't. Who knows what this is going to end up looking like. Okay, so let's try again. But this time I want to try just with the angle brush because I have some people who really love angle brushes. This is a royal length and it is a half inch. So this time let's try some red. So pure red here. And a lot of water. Okay. And I'm going to make, this time I'm going to do a different... pattern with my so I've made some bigger dots now I'm going to make let's see you like how I'm just who knows what's happening over here and then I'm going to make a little bit of a darker one right here yeah okay and I'm going to make it go up and I'm going to make this one. Now, I'm getting off pattern if you haven't seen there. Because I just love making dots. I really do. I always have. So, I'm getting excited. This is what happens. Alright, so there's that. Now, I'm going to get a little bit of... I think I'm going to get some orange. And I'm going to put it... You got to have a lot of water on your brush with this. I don't, they don't tell you that when they show these tutorials and stuff, they just kind of say, Oh, you put some dots, but I wanted to actually, okay. Oh, that's a pretty orange. I'll see that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Water. And we're going to start. And I, do you see how I'm tilting this? Just because I, there we go. Now, do you see how that's got some dots there? That means I waited too long for it to dry or I didn't have enough water in it to begin with. Oh, I like that. Okay. Now, see what's happening with those dots. I played too long. That's what's happening. I played too long. Now, I don't like those dots in it. You can see it looks like it's polka dotted. However, some flowers actually do have polka dots. I'm going to take what I have been playing with and adding to just the center area. Isn't this neat? And again, I'm going to come in and make little marks where it goes around. Okay. And I'm going to come in and Basically, do you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of dotting it there and letting it, as in the water and the paint, do what it wants. And I don't know, you all can't see what's happening to this one up here, but it is drying gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't really like the way this is happening, so I'm going to paint this part. I'm just going to pull this down. Okay, now, I do want this part to be really dark, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go get me some brown and see if I can't dot it. So here's what we're learning here. Watercolor goes where water is. Okay. If you're going to do the dot method to make flowers, you've got to have a lot of water on your brush and in your dot. Okay. Ooh, isn't that pretty? All right. Let's do another one. Let's do another one right here on this piece of paper with this color. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more red. So that means you need a lot more red or a puddle that's really, really wet. We're going to do this a little differently. But I like that orange in it, so we are going to see what we can do with the orange. So I'm going to sit here, and this time I'm going to do a smaller one, and I'm going to do the five-dot method. I like the way the five dots kind of gives you five, and this is four. I just eh, don't really like that, so that's why. Okay, now normally I want you to know my water never gets this dirty. I always have a paper towel. I don't know why I don't have a paper towel this time, but I'm going to get me some yellow orange here. I'm getting a lot and I'm getting some water and I'm going to put that in between here. 
And okay, now I'm going to take some water and I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull it out. Now, when it's smaller like this, it's a little bit more challenging to control this. See how that it's bleeding, but it's bleeding pretty. So I guess that works. All right, and then I'm gonna take this one. Now, I like the orange, but I don't, I want more red in it. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of a red and I'm gonna start putting it at this edge and watch what it does. It's already making the flower look like it's going down. Now this one, remember, is bleeding. So we're just gonna define it a little bit. So notice by just, Putting a little dot of that orange there, it's really making that nice and pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay. And all right. I think I'm going to let that one sit the way it is. Now, on each one of these, I've pulled this out a little bit. So I'm just going to, this is why the angle brush. Now, isn't this interesting that I started with a round brush, but I'm really liking this brush right here. So I think you could probably go and do. Uh, leaves with this just the same. So let's add some leaves. All right, so I'm going to bring this one back, let this one rest, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make me some green leaves. Now this is almost dry, but not completely. There's some puddles right here. You see that glossiness that you all see? That's telling me that there is puddles. So I'm going to stay away from those, or I think I'm going to stay away from those. I've got me some green here and it's some dark green and I'm going to do it kind of in the same way, but my petals are going to be pointed more. So what if we added a dot here? Remember, we need a lot of water here where it's beaded up. Okay. And then I'm going to take another one right there. Okay. Now, Let's see, let's actually, mm, mm, mm. let me go get some lighter green and I'm going to add one, two, three, four. Now, here we go. I'm gonna take some water. Let's see what happens. Oh, I kinda like it. And of course, I add a little bit right there. Now, I like how sharp that is. So I could make it that sharp by just changing that little area here. Now, I'm going to rotate. And do I want it here or here? I think I want it right here. So let's do that again. Let's take some green. And we're going to put it right here. Big dot. Big wet dot. Then I'm going to make a big wet dot there. Okay. And remember next, I'm going to, I'm going to this time go to this green and I'm going to make, all right. So a couple dots. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but let's just see, you know, Sometimes you feel like you have to practice before you go live on, t on YouTube or, or whatever. But I have found that I have learned the most from the teachers that wing it on the wing it with you. So you actually are seeing what's happening live so you can tell how we fix it and how we think about it. Mm, now, I think that's a very pretty flower, don't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and let's come back over here. Checking my time. Doing pretty good. Let's get me some more red, green. Big dot. Big dot. What if we just, let's see what we did here if we do four. Okay. And... I like the four method. But I also, and notice I'm kind of laying heavy on one side. Now that messed up right there. So I'm going to just keep on making it bigger. Now, 
I want a different green in there. So I'm just dotting that green in there and see what happens. And note, do you see what I'm doing? I'm tilting my paper and it's moving. It's even moving inside these flowers, which is just a gorgeous. Okay, let's do it right in. I'm seeing it right in here. Now, that was no dot. That was a twirly. Tw that was a real pretty um, up, around, and down. Now, it's still wet, so I can still do the dot method in it, right? So we know that I could just hit this dot. It will go wherever the water is. And if it's not going, like that's not moving too much, we can get a little bit of water here. And there it goes. Very, very, very nice. Let's go and do this one here. And a little bit right in here. Okay, so here's what we've learned. Angle brush is our friend when making petals and leaves because it's great with a point. You can get a little baby point or you can get a nice big wide stroke. Do y'all see what's happening here? This is why you should like live TV here. That right there. Now, this is when... You should definitely have a paper towel. Hold. <laughs> okay, paper towel. Now, I'm drying off my brush with my paper towel. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to sit it down and push, push it down and then I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to push it down and wipe it off. Not bad, right? So basically what I've done is I've done a sponge. And now I'm coming back in to this to see if I can't get it to look right again. Okay, now that's not bad. But I still have some of this red, purple, orange color. And we can add it back in. Nice. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, we do it live. That's why you watch, and that is why you want the teacher to test stuff out so you can learn stuff. Because if I had done that, I, you know, in my practice round, you would probably, I would have been, I wouldn't have done that. Okay, so these are pretty, pretty, pretty flowers. Okay, so look, I'm still bleeding over here. I, don't move them. Remember, the more water you have, the more likely this is going to happen. But I always preach in my classes that you have to have a halo. A halo meaning you can't get the water to touch each other. Because if you do, then this stuff happens. And so that's what is happening right here. There. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our practice for the day. Now, what I'd probably do is I'd come back in with my pen work and I'd actually do that. So you know what we'll do? I found, I found it. Okay, something I want to talk about right here is when you dry stuff. Do y'all see how this is literally folding up? So it is not, it's not flat anymore so there's a trick to that you have to have water on both sides or you have to dry it from both sides so here i am and this is mostly dry this one is drier than that one so i'm going to do it over here so right now these two edges are completely off the table so i'm going to do this and i'm going to hit this side and it's like ironing folks it's so great which i don't know i don't iron but here we go and now it's flat so that is a trick to literally do both sides and that will help that sometimes i've noticed that if you are like this it doesn't do as much but if you go up down up it dries a little bit faster this is my heated tool by ranger and it is not that loud and it's my favorite thing 
Now I'm going to take my Uniball Signo 207 bold pen and I'm going to do my thing because this is what I love the most. So let's start. This one seems drier. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some dots and some lines in the center of that and then put some dots. Now I'll notice that those dots don't have to connect to those center. They don't. And notice that these don't connect either. Okay. But I am going to make some shading right in here to do that. I'm going to come in and make a few like that. And do I want to, do I want to close this? I don't know. I'm having, I really like it the way it is. Okay. So I'm not going to, All right. And then I've got this one this time. Let's just do, let's do it from the other way. So little bitty. Yeah. You have to make the noise. All right. I like that one a little bit better. Mm hmm. And do you see I stopped talking? <laughs> I just stopped talking because I love this part so much. Okay, I'm going to just come in. And this time, I'm going to add stuff from the end in. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there's one. Fun. And here is the other. Let's see what happens. So we're going to do, 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 All right. So I have that. I'm going to come in and make some circles. I'm going to make a lot of circles on this one. Okay. And then I'm going to come in. Now, some people don't like to, if it's this light and airy, you don't add a pin to it. No one's saying you have to. I just like the pen because, well, I think it's kind of fun. I mean, haven't you just doodled? That's what I think this feels like. This feels like doodling to me. And just lightly adding it in here. And, of course, I like curly cues. So what if we added... All right, and let's add some wings. Wings. Okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is our show for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if not, I want you to know that we learned about the angle brush. We learned that we needed more water when we get to, when we're trying to make these petals. And that is Megan's version of the dot method. I'll talk to you later. If you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.